What is going on guys? It's the Kev 2013 and guys, I didn't lie to you. There were some roster changes. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I made a video this morning before I went to work and told you guys that Parasite has left uh, Optic Gaming. Well, come home, or was on my break rather, at work and I saw some other people left Optic and so I'm off of work now and making this video so you guys know what happened. Um, because I still don't know what happened. So I'm going to get on Twitter and show you guys what happened. Alright, so eight hours ago, Ricky and Parasite have left Optic Gaming. Announcements coming soon about the future with Clayster and I. And then Nate Shot also posts, Roster changes are never fun. I don't enjoy this part. Only thing Clayster and I can do is try to put a roster together that will win. And Parasite um, tweets at Nade shot and says, Good luck, dude. I hope you find players that work well with you. You're better than most people think, seriously. And then seven hours ago, Nade shot posts, Welcome to the team, Optic Saints and Optic MBOZE. So, MBOs, let's make this work and get a championship. And he uh, put in Optic Laster too. Also, uh, Parasite was nameless, went to SB, and study went to phase. And then Embos posted, I am now part of Optic Gaming with Optic Nate Shot, Optic Clayster, Optic Saints, and uh, he put Green Wall. Thank you to Optic Hex as well. And then Parasite uh, posted a tweet and says, After a week filled with one of the worst decisions of my COD career, I have thought of a lot of things. After experiencing what it was like to be an Optic for a few days, I quickly realized that the green life was not for me. The Optic supporters, however, are amazing. They are loyal to the brand and just want to see them succeed. He says if he would have stayed, um, he doesn't think the team would have worked. Uh, he said that the team was filled with too many differing personalities and uh, similar play styles because like three of them were um, AR players. Uh, so that was they had to get changed it up. Somebody had to play uh, SMG and they just had to do different things. And that's going to be hard when you've been doing that all your COD career. He says, after leaving, I decided that Curse was the only place for me. The organization itself worked closely with the players and some of the bonds I formed with people working there are unbreakable. He says, leaving Curse was one of the dumbest things I've ever made in my career. Um, some other stuff, I'll have a picture up here somewhere. Um, and then Ricky posed, as you guys may already know, I am no longer a part of Optic Gaming. I'd like to thank Hex and Matt for the opportunity they have given me and the best of luck to their new roster. When I first joined that team, I wasn't expecting players to be leaving and retiring, which put myself in a difficult situation and didn't think we would uh, and didn't think we had what it took to pull out a championship with our new roster. With COD Champs being around the corner, my main goal is to qualify and place the best we can, and with that team, I wasn't confident we can do that. As of right now, I have a few options of who I'm teaming with, and I will announce who will be joining very soon. So that's from Ricky. And then Nate Shot, Big Timer, and Hex both said, we lost 100 good udders today. So. Alright guys, and that's all I have right now. So, Ricky and Parasite gone from Optic. They were just, they just joined, what, a week ago? Not even that, really. And now we have Saints and we have Embos. Um, they're live currently while I'm recording. So I'm going to have to go and watch and see how much longer they're playing and see how the new team's looking. Um, I don't know, guys. I just want Optic to win. That's all. Um, I like Nade Shot, and he's the only one from Optic uh, that's left. Um, that when I first started, uh, when I first started watching Optic, it was when it was about a week before um, Merc was dropped. Um, so I've liked it since then. Uh, that's when I first started. So. I'm used to seeing Seth and uh, Harris Gump 
and Big Timer, all of them playing. Um, but with them moving around, I don't know anything anymore. Um, I've been watching a little bit of Clayster. I'm beginning to like him a little bit more. Um, it's going to get used to having to see all the different people and trying to get used to their voices when they're screaming and stuff like that. Um, and hopefully they can pull out some wins because we got God Champs coming up soon. They need to qualify. They need to get up there. They need to win. Um, Opti Gaming is a winning team. Um, they've always they've won a lot of championships and tournaments and stuff. Uh, so there's no reason that they can't now. Um, uh, that's all I got on it, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts on Parasite and Ricky leaving. Did you think that would happen? I thought Ricky would stay for a little while at least. Um, they look like they would work out together. They were all planning to move into the house and everything too. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, I think Clayster's still deciding whether or not he's going to move in there or not. Um, at the Optic House, but whatever. Let me know your thoughts on Ricky and Parasite leaving. Let me know your thoughts on Saints and Embos. I've never really watched them. I've never watched any of their streams or anything like that. So I'm, I'm not too familiar with them. Um, but I want to make this video and let you guys know. Um, I'm going to try to find some kind of uh, matches against people with them. I'm not sure if they have a YouTube channel or not. I'll have to check that out. Um, and hopefully that's a good team. Hopefully we can pull some wins. And I'm rambling now, so I'm going to leave you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, leave your thoughts down below. And hopefully we don't see any more roster changes for a while. Let's stick to one team. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>